most people will have heard of the art of shadow play uh, or shadow puppets it's an ancient form of storytelling where you can see shadow figures behind a curtain with a lamp behind it telling well, all kind of different stories you can also use shadow play as a way for children or students to tell a story they can make cardboard figures uh, maybe use servo motors micro bits to make a move or in this example i just use my hand um, behind the curtain as a way to tell the story making the cardboard figures is relatively easy just think of the figures that you need draw them on cardboard and use uh, an exacto knife to cut them out but you can also use a vinyl cutter um, to cut out those figures um, the question then of course is how do you create those figures you don't need to create the figures completely uh, on a laptop or digitally you can have the students draw the uh, pictures the images then digitize them and then convert them into uh, cut out cardboard in this short video i will show you how to do that with uh, a silhouette cameo okay let's take this rocket as an example the rocket you saw in the, the previous clip um, this rocket was designed just by using a marker a, a black marker um, and a piece of paper and someone drew it uh, and you could see you need to have rather thick lines to make sure that um, the rocket is clearly visible and you got to make sure that the lines on the drawing are connected some small arrows like this one where, where an, uh, an extra line is added um, probably isn't that bad but you got to make sure that you got really good clear lines we're designing um, shapes for the shadow figures so it's something that needs to let go light through it doesn't need color just black and white is uh, the best i took a picture of the piece of paper with my smartphone i uploaded the photo to onedrive in this case but you just need something to get the picture to your laptop um, so and on the laptop i've got silhouette studio i got the designer edition so that's a paid version but this also works in the in the free version um, i've got uh, the cutting mat 12 by 12 inch and i use cardboard uh, 21 centimeters by 14.9 uh, centimeters so i've set the page size to the correct size so i can see that um, the white part of the page is the area that i can work in so i start by uh, this is in Dutch but it says file open and then you see I got a number of uh, pictures on my uh, on my drive I'll take the one with the rocket I open it and what you see is that you get a remark low resolution because it just shows the full picture but way too big for the page so I usually zoom out press shift and then take the bottom right corner just move it all the way in and then zoom in a bit again okay zoom in some more so now you see we got the picture i can move it a bit more we're just going to use the, the the rocket part of the picture but i can do that afterwards but this is just a picture this is not something that i can have the laser cutter cut out for that we got a different tool and is this one the trace center and I select it and it says select trace area so I select that option and then just roughly I think I need to go in closer I gotta make sure that I trace the full drawing I see that I didn't take the picture in the best way possible because I got some stuff there that will be recognized as drawings but we'll remove them later um, i can use the threshold slider to just fiddle a bit with how much is being recognized you see if i put it too far to the right it will go turn yellow so i'll put it somewhere there 
I think that's okay. And if I done it, then I'll say trace. Now it looks like nothing has happened, although you can see some red lines, but that is because the picture is still behind it. I can just, I don't know, you can either move it to the side, as long as it's out of the, out of the page, it won't be a problem cutting. Um, and then we can work with um, the traced version of the rocket. Okay, if I select it, it's only one, so I'll go to object, uh, say disconnect path, and then I can take the individual areas or select a couple of the ones that I want to remove. You see, I got some more. So at this moment, everything that is red is going to be cut out by the laser cutter. So this probably isn't really good for this drawing. We decided that we wanted to have strong legs, so we don't want the middle piece cut out. We just removed everything within the legs, so the legs become one solid area. Uh, we can do that for this one as well, and the third leg as well. So you see, we got a lot of. Oh, that's too big. So Control Z, undo. We got a lot of those small areas. Depends a bit on how neatly you do the drawing. This one is connected. Let's uh, let's see if we can zoom in on that one as well. So if you do a really quick and dirty drawing, so I got the erase tool, as you can just erase part of this. Yeah, that should be okay. Um, and let's see what else have we got. I think it's relatively clean. There's some smaller cuts up there, but that should be fine. So one other thing that we did was just take out one of those areas to make it more sturdy. And basically that's it. There you go. You cleaned it up. And then uh, let's zoom out a bit more. So now we got all the different parts. Let's select them, say object and group. Uh, we can move around on a cup of paper. So if we don't have maximum size, we want to resize it a bit. It just depends on how big you want the figure to be. You can make it bigger or smaller than the than the actual drawing. And after that, you can send it to your uh, cameo cutter. So that's it. That's all that needs to be done. Before we're going to look at the end results again, uh, just a quick tip based on my beautiful drawing of a sun. It was one of the first examples we worked with, and you can make fun of it. Everyone else has done it already. But if you convert this to a drawing, you'll get something like this. And what you see here is that um, if you look at this eye, it's nice, but everything red is going to be cut. So this is going to be a cut. This is going to be an inner cut. So the pupil, so the, the inner part of the eye is going to fall out. So you can either decide that you don't mind that, so you got just a big uh, open eye, or you can make sure that the inner part of the eye is going to stay uh, fixed, but then you need to connect it to the outer part, to the rest of the face of the sun. And you can do that by just taking a box and dragging it, drawing it on top of the whole eye. Just make sure that it connects the left hand side and the right hand side. Let go. And then we take the selection tool, press shift. And first you take the inner part of the eye. So I got the box and the inner part of the eye uh, selected. Then we go to the merge tools. And Sam is melt in Dutch means merge. So I now merge the two figures, so I got a different shape. Then I press shift again while the shape is still selected and select the outer image and then uh, choose subtract or weghalen in Dutch. And now you see that the cut line doesn't go all the way around but just goes this part and then leaves a small piece of cardboard here so that both are still connected. So that's just a quick tip. Okay, and here you see the end result on the right, 
the rocket as a drawing and then we cut it out in, in a piece of cardboard, 200 grams. Um, doesn't matter what color because it's going to be in the shadow plane. Uh, removed all the inner pieces. Uh, we just put it on a black uh, background here so you can see it better. But here on the left you can see the rocket. Um, we just put this one on a stick. This one didn't move. We didn't have time for that while helping all the other students. This is uh, the result of one of the students groups. So they made two planets. They also drew a, a rocket. And in between uh, there's a servo motor that is connected to a micro bit that makes it uh, the, the rocket go from one planet to the other planet. I think they planned on having it go around, um, but in the two hour that we had from actually ideation to design to creation, um, this is how uh, as far as they got, which I think is still really impressive. Um, the other group, because use of the uh, the cutter was optional. So the other group just uh, preferred uh, drawing and cutting out the shapes themselves. And you can see you can get really nice results with that as well. Um, and I think that is the way it should be. It's sort of like the final cutter is an additional tool for students to use. It, it shouldn't be mandatory. Um, it depends on what they prefer. Okay, thank you for watching.